The world would be a nicer place if everyone had the ability to love as unconditionally as a dog. M.K. Clinton. Hi everyone, it's Chris from Mill Pet Photography. And welcome to the first in a series focused on Tales of Windsor and Ascot. As you may know, Sue and I put together the Tales of Windsor and Ascot book this year, a massive project as a fundraiser. And what I want to do is each week share a little bit more from the book. You'll find a little bit about what we've done. You'll find a bit more about the charity that we supported. But most importantly, you're going to hear from the dogs and you're going to see the dogs photographs over the coming weeks. So let me start by reading. And I had the inspiration from Nick Avery in terms of telling a story on video. So please, thanks Nick for that. And uh, please enjoy. So the introduction. We have been living in the Windsor and Ascot area for the past three decades. Less than 30 miles from London in the United Kingdom, both of these towns reside within the Royal Borough in the county of Berkshire. With the Royal Family Heritage and associations from the 11th century castle in Windsor to the race course founded by Queen Anne in 1711 in Ascot, there are so many delightful spots that we feel so privileged to call home. The mid 13th century Windsor Great Park was originally the private hunting ground of Windsor Castle. Both towns are surrounded by heaths and woodland forests with many formerly landscaped gardens. We enjoy our regular walks and jogs through so much of this outstanding area of natural beauty, watching the colours change with the four seasons. It was on one of our jogs that we saw Berkshire search and rescue dogs in training deep in the forest and decided there and then that we'd both love to find a way to help them raise much needed funds. With so many wonderful locations for dogs to have fun on our doorstep, we decided to spend 2022 focusing on capturing the true character and personalities of dogs for Tales of Windsor and Ascot. We particularly enjoyed working with each dog owner and getting their dog's perspective on life. We had so much fun sharing these dog thoughts with you and we'll leave each dog to describe themselves and a little bit about their homes too. As part of the Tales of the World series, this photographic coffee table book showcases dogs across Windsor and Ascot. We hope that you enjoy reading it as much as we enjoy creating it. And from my perspective, I'll read you a chapter every week. We'll share a little bit more about the dogs and of course the photos from their shoots as well. You will hear from the dogs directly, but as many of you can't actually understand dog talk, I'll speak on their behalf. Thanks for listening and look forward to bringing you another edition soon. Bye for now.